welcome back to the adventures of Harry Fenton. All right. Fuel scooping. Yeah. So, I am just heading in here to a station after a good 400 and some light year trip to get here. Because Harry Fenton has been very busy with uh, recuperating his uh, exploration losses, having learned his lesson to be extremely careful and take no unnecessary risks when carrying valuables, such as valuable data that can be destroyed. Yeah. Anyway, having gotten a good bunch re redone, not all of it, but enough for the time being, heading over here to Chernovsky City because it's time to start making with the introductions to a couple of engineers. The first of which is uh, Elvira Martuk, an engineer that does some good, good things for uh, thrusters and shields, I believe. Anyway, get docked in here and what I have to do is in order to get the introduction I have to provide three units of something called soon till relics and this is the place to get them so once I got that then another long flight to where Martuk is based and uh, then get the uh, access to that engineer and then a similar routine for uh, Felicity Farseer, another engineer that I will be using the services of soon. But first, it's time to get docked here. Anytime now. Should be dropping out of Super Cruise. Trying to arrange to approach the station from the front. It's easier that way. Uh oh, over speed. I'm gonna blow right past it. Oh, what a noob move. Totally noob move on my part. Oh well. And go. There we are. And there's the front gate. Okay, landing gear deployed. Landing gear deployed. Approval granted. Be set down at Bay 44. Bay 44, okay. I'm not sure, but I think that one is towards the back. Okay, get into the mail slot. Scan detected. Oh, I don't care about your scan. A little out of practice, haven't docked in a while. Not with one of these. Okay, I see 44, and it is toward the back. Roll heads up. Yep, 
get docked and get my soon tail relics. Descending. Final alignment on the pad. All right. Any landing that doesn't blow up, huh? Okay, Starport Services. Now let's see where the soon tail relics are listed. All right, Commodities Market. Soon tail relics. I need three of them. For 15,300 apiece. That's not actually bad. Now the, uh, Uh, the meta alloy that I'll need for the other one, that is like over a hundred thousand. Now I'm not going to sell any data here. I just want to take a look and see how many pages of it I have stored up. All right, that's one page. Fifty to a page. All right, there's the second page. And a third page. All right, that's plenty, I do believe. Okay, now, let's see, plot my route to this one. Yeah, that's a long trip. 375 light years. All right, plot the route and get into the system. Let's see. Yeah. Here. Yeah, this is it. All right. Select plot route. That's where I'm going. And that's going to take a little while. So, <laughs> yeah, what I'm going to do is just uh, launch out of this thing and fly over there. And I will cut back in as I'm landing. All right, safely out of the station, on my way. Okay, somebody wants my cargo. Isn't that awful? <laughs> well, if I can stay lined up on the escape vector, then I will escape. Come on, there we go. There we go, interdiction evaded. And I hope I tore the guts out of his ship doing it. Probably not, but it's a nice thought. <laughs> anyway, I'm one jump away from uh, where I'm headed to. So I'll come back as I'm landing. Good 15 kilometers out. Ah, automated. How about that? Landing gear. Throttle back. Landing gear deployed. Okay, now for 
docking. Clearance granted. Proceed to landing pad zero one. Well, light it up for me. get it. It's that. Usually they're lit up in the same orange as everything else, but this one appears to be lit up in blue. Yeah, that was it. How about that? It looks like I'm approaching from the right direction. I thought I was going to have to fly around to come, come in from the other side. Fun fact, you can't land backwards. The landing pads have these, like, deflector plates for exhaust or whatever. When you're landing, you have to have your engines facing them. And if you land with your, if you try to land with your nose facing that, whoops. Oh, that was not a good landing attempt. Got just a little bit heavy handed with the controls. for crying out loud. Oh. Yeah. No, you don't you take off with your engines facing the blast deflectors. Oh, this is embarrassing. I'm probably going to cut this. <laughs> Maybe not. We'll see. At least it's not a terribly awful result. Okay, it grabbed a hold of me as soon as I was close enough the right direction. Operation complete. Commence system shutdown. Welcome, Commander. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Robot. Okay. Starport Services. Let's get this introduction over with. Alright. Current status invited. Alright. Engineers Workshop. Okay. Invited. Donate. Donate. Okay. This one does engines. Thrusters, yeah, that's right. Thrusters, shield generator, frame shift. <sighs> Have I got enough to do a... Uh, let's see, clean drive tuning. Dirty drive. Well, I've got the resources for it, so why not? Oh, generate modification. All right. Okay. All right. What can I do with the frame shift here? Faster boot, increased range, shielded. 
I'm going to go for increased range. Insufficient resources. Atypical disruptive wake echoes. Yeah. So that's more of the materials that I'm going to have to get a hold of. Okay, now, Universal Cartographics. This should get me some more rep with this engineer. So get two pages. Incoming message. Thank you. That's a promotion, I'm sure. And a second page. Confirm. Another 27 million. Today, please. There we go. Exit out. Let's have a look at that message. Oh. Pilots Federation promotion to Pioneer. Invitation from Marco Quint. Okay. Information on Zachariah Nemo. New engineer. Okay. Promotion to Pioneer. Okie doke. Great. Okay. Yeah, Pioneer, 25% of the weight to the next rank. All right. Uh, that's actually... No, not Galactic Powers. Back. Engineers. All right, my status here. I have grade 5 access because of the exploration data I sold here. And I now am going to be heading off to Felicity Farseer. And I'm going to need one unit of meta-alloy. Let's see, wait a minute. Did that say where you get them? Okay. I can find where. I, I mean, I know where, but I just don't remember the name of it, so I'll have to look that up and plot my course to there. And then head out there and buy it and get out to Farseer. All right. Approaching the place where I'm going to buy the meta-alloys. And yes, I'm aware that you can obtain them without buying them. You can find you, There are certain planets and whatnot that you can get them at, but... But uh, I'm feeling a little lazy. I'd rather just get them. So that's what I'm doing. Okay. Deploy landing gear. And slow down. Landing gear deployed. Get landing clearance. It's one of those that's lit up. Okay, that's 12. There's two over there, eight over here. There's... That's eight. Okay. There it is. There we go. Now 
this is why I made the mistake at that other station because this is normally the configuration you land in with the back of your ship facing the blast deflector and that station is backwards All right, descend. There we go. Okay, now here, one unit of meta alloys, and then plot my course to Felicity Farseer. And shut up, you. Uh, okay, starport services. Alrighty, commodities market. And I am looking for... Meta alloys. One. Okay. And let's plot my course. Bookmarked. Felicity Farseer. Good long ways out here. Let's see. 389 light years. System map. Here we go. The planet map, Farseer Incorporated, select plot route. Okay, <laughs> almost 400 light years, and let's see, 21 jumps. Okay, I will check in on arriving there. Oh boy, just got a message, somebody trying to, well, now they're trying to interdict, but they announced that they were coming after me because apparently they'd heard that I had goodies. How they heard this, I don't know, but there you go. All right, stay on the escape vector. Tear the guts out of his ship. Frame shift drive and jump to, to the next system and get out of here. I have 11 jumps to go. Hopefully I won't have any more of that. Yeah. I saw the message in the upper left and I knew this was going to happen again. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Apparently meta alloys are pirate magnets. <laughs> Who knew? Actually, I did. <laughs> anyway, onwards. We have another automated flight control. Start slowing down. And now I get to do something I just love doing. Landing in the dark. <laughs> oh well. Could be worse. Although I can't think of what that would be just now. Okay, get to within seven and a half kilometers and I can request docking clearance. And again, they're using blue landing lights. In the no fire zone. That would be that one over there that's lit up. And the funny thing is, even if my headlights were on, which I can't tell if they are or not from in here, they're not really strong enough to uh, do very much good. 
Okay, remembering the lesson of Martuk's plays, I want to approach the landing pad facing the base. And yes, that is pad zero one. The lateral thrust. Okay, main throttle off. Just use thrusters now. All right. This should be a much better landing than the one at Martuk's place. I certainly hope so. That was embarrassing. The numbers go out, begin descending slowly a little bit at a time so as not to slam into things and I almost totally blew that one okay we're down all right Arrival has been noted. Wonderful. Starport services. Let's get this done. Okay. Engineer's workshop. And donate. Okay. Surface scanners, engines, FSD, power plant, sensors is what she can modify. FSD can go to grade 5. Scanners and engines to grade three, power plant to one, sensors to three. All right, that's cool. All right, cartographics. Now here, I am not going to mess around. I'm selling all of the exploration data I've got. It'll get me the rep I need, and it will get me additional millions. Incoming message. And apparently another promotion. That, and I've got rank 5 access with Farseer. Just sell all of this stuff. That way I don't have to be concerned about it. Okay, I can't sell that one. All right, that's fine. All right, now that the two engineers have been unlocked, I'm going to engage in the next phase of this, and for that, I have to take a quick look at an off, out-of-game website. All right, well, here it is, the moment that a lot of the stuff has been working up to, and that is, no, not advanced maintenance, shipyard. Okay. And I scroll through here, and I should find... Ah, there it is, the new kid on the block. The Crate Mark II. Okay. And that's what I'm going for, 38 million. The reason for all the extra financing is... For outfitting. The default outfitting is not horrible, but it's not what I'm after. So, purchase options. Uh, not yet. Just occurred to me. I want to go over here to outfitting. On optional internal. A vehicle hanger. Transfer options. Store. Okay. Uh, Advanced Discovery Center, Transfer, 
Store. Detailed Surface Scanner, ditto. Okay. All right. There. Now go to Shipyard and buy the crate. One crate mark two. Store the current ship. Anytime now. Standing by. Or, well, actually, sitting by. Okay. First up, let's see, can I get a decent look outside from here? No. <laughs> you can't get this camera around in front of the thing. Oh, well, maybe, maybe. All right. Here we are. The crate Mark II. Some very good visibility with the cabin here in the front center. For those into multi-crew, it has two additional seats and whatnot. So that's good. And it just looks like, yo, I mean business. Get out of my way. <laughs> That, that's what it looks like to me. Actually, you want to know the truth. The very first time I saw the profile of this ship, and that's when uh, Frontier was... Uh, I, I think what they showed was a graphic of a, uh, an, a completely plain, bland, undecorated base 3D model of the ship. And when I saw that, I, I thought then, and I still think now, this ship has got a really serious Millennium Falcon-ish kind of vibe going on. I can't say exactly why, but it has that feel to it. Mind you, it's not trying to be the Falcon or anything even close. It isn't even big enough to be the Falcon. But that's the kind of vibe it's got. I'm coming through... You are not going to mess with me. Get out of the way. <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. Yeah, that's what this ship tells me. That's what... Oh, get off of that. That's what... Uh, goes through my head. When I, the first time I saw the thing. Okay. Stored modules... Detailed surface scanner, and then transfer to ship. And that's going to go... Oh, you know what? I, I'm going to have to refer to a website. Uh, Coriolis.io, I believe it is. Uh, it, it's a site that lets you do basically theory crafting putting together modules on a ship design and it tells you what the results are going to be and whatnot. That way you can build your ship without having to sit here forever in the starport. So I'm going to cut out, refer to that, get everything put in place, and then I'll be back. Okay, referring to my uh, build page. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is actually going elsewhere to uh, buy the most of the stuff. I did, however... I've got the uh, vehicles, the vehicle bay, and my uh, rover, SRV, scanners, got them moved over, and so, yeah, now, yeah, let's check the fire groups. I think they might just be fine, okay, ADS. 
on mouse two, ADS, uh, or that one on mouse two. Yeah, that'll work. All right, and oh yes, 113 million left. The rebuy cost on this ship is two million so, so far, so far. I haven't finished putting stuff on it yet. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna head over to, let's see. No, not there. Here, 64 SETI. There's a station here, and this is a system controlled by Lee Yon Ru, which means 15% discount on a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm going to fly over there and get that. All right, complete it now with outfitting. And what I've got here is now part of the thing is when you buy a ship, everything in core internal is E rated which means it works and it will fly but it's not even close to the best it can be and like for example when i bought the ship it had a stock jump range of 8.4 light years and right now it's got 19.7 with a minimum of 17.89 and a maximum of 20.61 the difference being depending on how much fuel and cargo it's carrying because that mass will affect jump range. And so I've gone with a 7C power plant, which is enough to power everything. 6A thrusters, because having less than A-rated thrusters doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Uh, you, when you're landing on a planet, you want good thrusters, trust me. 5A frame shift, again, top of the line, because that's where your jump range most of your jump range comes from right there life support d rated for weight 7a power distributor and d rated sensors and a 32 ton fuel tank that it comes with on uh, optional internal i have a 5a fuel scoop which is going to uh, pull a little over half a ton of fuel per second 64 ton cargo, 5A shield generator, two AFMs, a 5A and a 4A, the vehicle hangar from the other ship, the advanced discovery and the detailed surface, hard points, it's pulse lasers throughout. On the top, we have three 3E uh, class 3 gimbal pulse lasers, and on the bottom, there are two class 2 gimbal pulse lasers because I like gimbals utility mounts frame shift wake scanner and some heat sink launchers and the wake scanner is one of the things that I'm going to be using sometime very soon is because uh, among things that I'm going to need for uh, engineering is various different kinds of frame shift wake scans and uh, so on so the wake scanner is going to get that for me and along with more raw materials from surface scans uh, from surface driving in the srv and of course more exploration data but the ship is now pretty well set up so I think it's time to, uh, for Harry to leave the station and head back to the Road to Riches and the acquisition of both exploration data and other materials needed for engineering. And next time out, next episode, Harry Fenton engineers the crate. And oh yeah, that's right, the ship's name, Stella. Harry cannot forget his girls. <laughs> no, sir. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take it easy. I am out of here.